action with the auctions at Classic Car Week. Millions of dollars changing hands tonight. Action News reporter Brittany Nielsen is live with tonight's top story. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Dan. Yeah, in just minutes tonight, millions of dollars are being spent by buyers all over the world uh, by phone, by uh, internet. They're bidding online, and for 1,200 people that were in the auction room tonight, in person. Sold at your car. I look forward to the drive. Closing the deal over and over on this 1965 Ford GT40 Roadster prototype for $6.3 million. At $6,300,000, then are we all done? Fair warning now, selling on the phone. All done, all finished. Sold your car, Shelby. And it's not just vintage that gets the bid. It is a 1,200 horsepower, quadruple turbocharged, 16 cylinder rocket ship. This 2013 Bugatti Veyron was on display at the 2012 Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance. Two years later, it's back, selling for 2.2 million. On the opposite end of the age spectrum, this 1911 Mercer that can hit 100 miles an hour is expected to bring two and a half to three and a half million dollars on Saturday. It's the best brass era car available on the, on the peninsula this weekend. And don't forget the RM Auctions headliner, this gray 1964 Ferrari, one of three ever made. It's expected to go for around 30 million dollars. There's over $140 million worth of inventory just sitting in our hotel alone. This is an international event, and we try to bring that, that theme and that flavor to, to everything that's going on here. Just down the road, the Russo and Steel auction offers a much different feel, with CEO Drew Alcazar on the floor, riling up the crowd and wrangling in buyers. Russo and Steel wants its auctions to be interactive. It's the only auction this week doing auctions in the round and encouraging buyers to walk right up and check out potential purchases. Yeah, he's got the moves going out there uh, on the auction floor, too, tonight. Now, back at the RM auction, you cannot even enter the auction unless you're a registered bidder. To be a registered bidder, you need to pay a $300 registration fee. 1,200 people at least did that. There were 1,200 seats in there. They were all full. The only space left was standing room. That was full as well. Guys. It's, it's crazy um, how much money is exchanged hands on the peninsula this weekend. Uh, but what I love, too, Brittany, is that all of the different auctions have their own personality. It's uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun to watch, anyway. Uh, thank you.